Welcome to the Deep Rock Railroad. The Deep Rock Railroad was our first N-scale model train layout. The layout has three levels, which are measured by how high they are off the floor. 44 inches, 47 inches, and 50 inches. It uses Walther scenes on removable backdrops. The lakes and streams are Envirotex. Most people build model railroad layouts according to their definition of fun. To some, fun is defined as modeling a prototype as precisely as possible in looks, operations, consists, switching operations, or terrain, or all of these things. To others, just a general feel for the prototype is enough, and accuracy isn't as important as whether the finished layout is fun to operate. Still others like to freelance it and try to get all the aspects of the hobby they enjoy most into a dream layout. My wife and I are in the latter group, and the Deep Rock Railroad is modeled not after an existing railroad, but after the model train fantasies that are to be found in my imagination as well as hers. The layout is a fictitious 1950s short line railroad with a triple folded loop main line supported by a hidden staging area. All this is diagrammed on the front of the control panel. The Deep Rock Railroad was our first end scale model train layout. Our goals were to concentrate as much railroading as possible into a five foot by eight foot island layout in the center of a room and then build a centralized dual cab control panel that performed all functions. The control panel is ultra concentrated with 21 block toggles, 23 turnout toggles, 46 turnout position indicator lamps, four uncoupler push buttons, four direction controls, and a main power switch and layout lighting power switch, all in a one foot by two foot control area. I've often remarked that this control panel's insides are pretty close to a solid block of copper which is, of course, what the wires are made of. Here's one of the ways we made up for the fact that we have no boom to hold our camera over the layout. We slid it along a pole with a string. And here we see the layover behind the backdrops. The backdrops have plastic runners glued on their backs, which slide along aluminum bars that are fastened to the bench work. Let's take a tour around the main line by using the control panel diagram, starting with the layover. 